Americans living all around the world had the opportunity to vote in the Super Tuesday primaries. Our Haley Ott spoke with some of those Americans in London about why they chose to vote ahead of the election in November. First-time voters like Stephen Kovacevic ring the bell at this voter registration event for U.S. citizens in the U.K., organized by the Democratic Party. And how does it feel to be a first-time voter? I'm thrilled, and not living in an ivory tower is important. There are around 3 million Americans who live overseas and are eligible to vote in U.S. elections, according to U.S. government data. But historically, only a tiny percentage of these eligible expats actually cast ballots. So there's a large voting contingent out there, and it makes a real difference to what happens in elections. Kristen Wolf is the vice chair for the UK arm of the group Democrats Abroad. It represents Democrats living overseas and has its own delegates and primary process. She says in 2020, the overseas vote is what tipped the scales in some states for President Biden, and it could do it again. How important is each one of these absentee ballots or abroad votes? We were the margin of victory, so every single vote matters, and we need every American who has the right to vote to come on out and do it. But while Democrats are trying to get out the overseas vote, Republicans are less interested. Well, in general, they're not that significant overall. The, the participation rate is, is really low. It's single digits. As Republicans, we do much better where there's more military. In London, 24-year-old Taya drops off her ballot for the Democratic primary. We live abroad, but we're still American. You know, democracy doesn't work unless you participate. Haley Ott, CBS News, London.